What's up guys, in this video I'm going to tell you what I think is the formula for getting on Discover Weekly, which can result in these huge algorithmic playlist spikes that can 2x, 3x, even 4x the amount of streams that you get in a given day. I'm going to look at some real data to back this up, and I think this will be really helpful if you're trying to get algorithmic traction for your own music on Spotify. Let's get into it. All right guys, so here's the plan. I'm gonna show you five songs that triggered Discover Weekly. I'm gonna show you the Spotify for Artists data on those songs in the 28 days before the first major spike. And then I will also show you that next day, so you'll get to see what exactly happened when they did trigger Discover Weekly and how many streams it was that day. And then after that, I will show you what I'm calling the formula, which is basically the average Spotify for Artists stats for each of those five songs, which I think gives a pretty good idea of what you need to do to make this actually happen for your music. So with that said, let's click over and check out the first song and the first artist. All right, so this is a client I was running ads for, and these are the 28 days before their first Discover Weekly spike. So you can see just over 10,000 streams, pretty good streams for listener rate, and a very high save rate. There's that first Discover Weekly spike. So this song goes from getting 464 streams in a day to getting 1,145 streams in a day. And if we clear this and we look at 12 months, you can see they have triggered Discover Weekly multiple times. The ads are no longer running, but they're getting close to 100,000 streams, uh, largely from uh, algorithmic playlists. So that is song one. All right, here's a second song in the 28-day period before it triggered Discover Weekly. So we're looking at just under 8,000 streams, 25, 2,600 listeners, Again, over three streams a listener, and uh, I'm bad at doing math off the top of my head, but a save rate of like 20, 20%. You can tell it was down actually a little bit from the previous period, but here is what happened on the next day. So bang, all of a sudden we get this moon shot up that makes everything else looks like, like child's play, and it goes from 370 in a day to 1,631 in a day. So really cool to see. And then if we look over 12 month period, here's where things are. So that was that first Discover Weekly spike, triggered it multiple times since then, and still upward and to the right, this artist is still actively running ads. All right, a third artist that I ran ads for earlier this year. This is the 28 day period before their Discover Weekly leap. So 10,791 streams, almost 3,000 listeners, very high streams for listener rate, very high save rate, 40 something, 30 percent <laughs> i gotta stop trying to do math all right and let's take a look at what happened on the first day of discover weekly so boom 2535 streams in one day after 481 streams the previous day so man like a five times increase in one day on their average and if we clear this and we look at the 12 months it wasn't super sustainable. We really had those two big spikes, but we had a couple little smaller ones, and we actually just recently triggered it again right here. So it seems like really sustainable. As long as this artist is running ads, they seem to see these really big Discover Weekly spikes. So we're gonna we're trying ads right now. It'll be interesting to see where this continues over the, the rest of the year. All right, this is my brother's song that I ran ads for a few weeks ago, I guess, because this was the end of August. And so here it was, the 28-day period before Discover Weekly, uh, 7,300 streams, 3,149 listeners, a lower streams for listener than the other ones were all over three, I think, so far. And a save rate still above 10%, but not like 50% or anything close to that. So let's look at what happened. So not as big a jump, but a nice little uptick there. Not quite doubling, but something close to it. So 258 to 460. And then there was that first Discover Weekly bump, and we'll see. We stopped running ads like a few weeks ago, last week, two weeks ago. I'm bad at math and dates. But we'll see what happens over the rest of the year if we keep getting Discover Weekly spikes or if it tails off from here. All right, and last is an interesting case study. So this is an artist that I was running ads for, and we were really struggling to get the ads to crack what I believe is the formula to get that Discover Weekly spike. And so after discussion, we decided to do a playlisting campaign in tandem with the ads. So this is the playlisting campaign right here. Pretty obvious where it comes in. And we had a pretty good save rate and a streams for listener rate before this playlisting campaign kicked in. But during the playlisting campaign, our streams shot up, but our streams for listener and our save rate declined. We just needed to get the volume of streams up to a certain amount. And so this playlisting campaign accomplished that. We still had a 10-ish percent save rate and so this is where we were the day before discover weekly kicked in so let's take a look at what happened 
and just a little uptick here. So 590 to 834. And probably that's partly because this is inflated by the playlisting streams. So like this is about 300 some streams. It would have looked like a bigger spike without the playlisting campaign. But with the playlisting campaign, you can see this is what happened. So an interesting way to trigger Discover Weekly if you're struggling with just ads alone is to throw a playlisting campaign on top of it. So let's clear that and let's look at just the last 12 months of the song. So you can see that is the Discover Weekly tick right there. And then taken off the playlist here over the last few weeks. And then he actually got another Discover Weekly tick uh, a couple weeks ago. And just yesterday, he got a little bit, but it does appear to be tailing off. But we are higher at this point than we were when we were just running ads. So this will be another interesting one to track. Do we see prolonged Discover Weekly traction? Does it keep spiking? What happens from here on out? All right, so those are five songs. Let's take a look at all five of those. And I think we're gonna be able to come up with something pretty close to a formula. All right, so here it all is in spreadsheet form. We're looking at 9,477 streams on average, 3,829 listeners with a 21% save rate. Now notice we had a low of a 10% save rate and we had a high of a 37% save rate. So definitely some variance in there, but this seems like a pretty good benchmark. So if you can get around 7,000 and then up to 11,000 streams, like somewhere in this range, and if you can have above a 10% save rate, that is when you'll almost certainly see Discover Weekly kick in. So there are a bunch of things you can do for that. All five of these clients were actively running ads, and that is the reason that they trigger Discover Weekly. And then, like we saw in that last client, you can also supplement ads and playlisting if you're struggling just to get the volume of streams from just ads. But yeah, hopefully this is helpful. I think it's really doable for most people. If you have a budget, obviously not everybody has a budget, so I totally recognize that. But yeah, I think this is just really interesting data if you're trying to trigger Discover Weekly for yourself. So hopefully that was helpful as you think about triggering Discover Weekly for yourself. I do think that there is a formula, but I also want to say that I don't think Discover Weekly is like some holy grail where if you trigger it, your worries are over and you'll be famous. Obviously, that's not the case, but it is just a nice algorithmic boost and a nice way to get your music in front of new ears. So cool tool, not the end all be all. But yeah, hopefully this is helpful for you making the best use of it. If you want more insight on how to grow on Spotify, I have a free Spotify mini course where I walk through the only four ways that I've seen that artists can legitimately grow on Spotify. Totally free, takes five days to go through, and I'll put that in the link somewhere below this video. Also, just have to mention that if you're interested in having us run ad campaigns like the ones that led to all five of those artists getting on Discover Weekly, just reach out. I also have the link to my agency below, and we run ad campaigns like that for artists all the time. So that's all I've got for today. As always, here's wishing you good luck as you make and market your music. And as always, you've got this.